how to walk to the Southampton Cruise Terminal with a 20 kilogram suitcase. When researching how to get to the Southampton Cruise Terminal, I was very surprised how close it was to the train station and from the hotels in the city centre. However, the cruise company advice was to get a taxi. But according to Google, it was only a seven minute walk to the city cruise terminal. And that's coming from Southampton station and it would be even closer from a nearby hotel. So I decided to walk it, pulling a 20 kilogram suitcase to see just how hard it was. I will cover traveling from London Waterloo Railway Station to Southampton Central Railway Station and then from there to Port Gate 10 and then from the hotels in Southampton to Port Gate 8. This video is in addition to the recent history videos I normally produce. I'll be doing a few more relating to cruises so please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching Eclectic Experience. The main challenge when pulling a suitcase are stairs and curbs. Fortunately, it's possible to go the whole route with hardly any obstructions. Drop curbs and pedestrian crossings are the norm. The direct train from Waterloo Station takes about one hour, 20 minutes, and the line is run by Southwestern Railway. Some journeys require changing at Basingstoke, but as I had a big suitcase, I deliberately got a direct train so as not to have to change. There are lifts to the mainline station and then luggage barriers to get onto the platforms. So it's very easy to pull a suitcase onto the train. On the train, there is limited luggage space. The overhead space above the seats is not big enough for a suitcase. However, providing the train isn't full, the staff recognize the lack of storage space and are quite happy for suitcases to be placed on empty seats, providing other passengers do not need them. So it's best not to travel during the rush hours. Suitcases can't be left in the corridors for safety reasons, as they'll cause a blockage. On arriving at Southampton Central, the exit for the cruises is clearly marked, and there is a large barrier for carrying luggage through. There's also a passenger lift for each platform, with the bridge linking them, if you need it. The station is an interesting Art Deco building, though when I took these pictures there were works going outside, but hopefully these will finish soon. This is the suitcase I used. It's got four wheels, though I mainly pulled it on two. And here's the crucial bit, it weighed 22 kilograms. A key point to note is 22 kilograms is fairly heavy, so you need to be happy to pull this amount of weight. I would not have attempted this if the suitcase did not have the wheels, as they made all the difference. Starting with the direct route from the railway station to the cruise terminal gate 10. Gate 10 is for the city, Mayflower and Horizon cruise terminals. This is the route on Google Maps. It says, as you can see, seven minutes or 0.3 of a mile. There are also hotels close to this route, including the Ibis hotels and the Nova Hotel. Turn left out of the station and walk towards the pedestrian crossing and then cross the road. Once over the crossing, turn right and walk up the small incline. This road is called the Western Esplanade and we follow it a short distance until we come to the first road junction, which is with Southern Road. And this is where we turn left. It is then just a case of walking down the hill. Cross the road at the West Quay Road, which has a good pedestrian crossing, and then carry on down. Just before the gate, you'll come to the only road without a drop curve. So the suitcase will have to be lifted at this point. This is gate 10, which has quite a grand Art Deco look. Simply walk through the gate, walking along the footpath and proceed to the terminal building. Then check in and enjoy the cruise. I did this walk on the way back from the cruise. 
This is the path coming from the cruise terminal building and the cruise ship to the gate. The overall walk to the station took about 10 minutes. Next, walking to a hotel in Southampton from the railway station and then on to gate eight or the other cruise terminals. The route will obviously depend on the hotel you're staying at and the terminal you're departing from. There are lots of hotels in Southampton that are near the cruise terminals. The ones highlighted here are the Premier Inn, Holiday Inn, Leonardo Royal Hotel and the Pig in the Wall, all of which can be reached on this route. The best walking route is to exit the station and then walk along and cross at the pedestrian crossing. This is the route on the map. Then follow the path through here. This is next to the old Toys R Us building and then carry along. The path goes through the old Toys R Us car park and is heading towards Furniture Village and Ikea. And when you get to this roundabout, continue along this road, which is Harbour Parade, and stay on it, stay on the same path until you get to the prominent West Quay building. All the road crossings have dropped curbs. As seen from the West Quay balcony, the Premier Inn is on the right and the Holiday Inn is ahead. Also from this photo, we can see a cruise ship in the city terminal. Also just off to the left of this picture is the Leonardo Royal Hotel. The easiest and most pleasant way from the city centre is to follow the old medieval wall down to the roundabout at the end. There is also plenty to look at on this route if you want to have a break from pulling the suitcase. Then at the roundabout, simply cross over at this crossing towards the park in front. On a map, the roundabout is here. This is the ocean cruise terminal and going in the opposite direction, this is the gate eight entrance to the city cruise terminal. The view from the park, this is towards gate eight where the celebrity silhouette was parked and then swinging back we can see the ocean cruise terminal just over here. This is the Holiday Inn on the left then swinging the camera around we see just how close it is to the terminal gate yet it was surprising just how many people were getting a taxi from here to the terminal. Heading through gate 8 this is the view looking back then walking through the security gates on the path to the right and up to the terminal onto the ship and that was it. It was a little bit of a workout putting the suitcase from the station to the terminal and back again but it was a good way to make a preemptive strike against all the calories on the cruise and after the cruise to work a few of them off. Staying the night before worked for us. It takes the stress out of travelling a long way on the departure date and gives the opportunity to have a good look around Southampton which has some very historic sites. I made this video as I was going on a cruise for the first time. I will also aim to make a couple of others trying to make clear what I found to be initially totally baffling about going on a cruise. I will also shortly be bringing out a video on how Southampton around the bar gate has changed since 1981. You might also find my regular then and now videos of interest linked to the playlist here. I hope you found this useful. Please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching Eclectic Experience.